Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to discuss about the Unity, like how we can add the users in Unity. So like there are so many ways through which we can add the users in Unity connection. So let's start it. So there are four ways to add the users in Unity connection, Cisco Unity connection, right? So the first way is to add the users manually. That means we can just go to Cisco Unity connection and we can just add it. I add one user like a user with a mailbox and another would be another process would be user without a mailbox. So user with a mail mailbox could be like an end user and user without a mailbox could be an administrator. Like uh, you are working in your company and uh, no one wants to give you an admin rights, the whole admin rights on your Cisco Unity connection. So they will create a user without a mailbox and provide the role to that particular user so that you can log in on your Cisco Unity connection and you can like create an end user and do all other things in your Cisco Unity connection. We will do it all practically as well. I will show it to you. And the second method would be importing users via AXL from CUCM. So we have uh, users on our CUCM, like the, all the end users are on CUCM. We can import those users via AXL from CUCM. Like it will directly upload or import all the, all the end users from CUCM to your Unity connection messaging. The next step would be, uh, not the next step, the next way would be importing users with LDAP. So if everything is like sync with the LDAP directly on CUCM, your end users are active uh, with the LDAP and on Unity as well. So you can import the users via LDAP as well. Next method would be importing users with the bulk administration tool. So like if you have multiple users, you know you have like 15, 20, 50, 100, 200 users and you want to import them uh, with the help of like bad, bad tool. So you will just like uh, create one CSV file, add the required details, and then you can upload it on your Unity connection, right? And then in that way, all users will get uploaded or imported on your Cisco Unity connection. So let's start, uh, let, let me just show you uh, with the help of slides first, how we can add the users manually, and then we will, uh, go to the practical, right? I will show it to you how we can add it via X, via AXL, via LDAP, via BAT or manually as well on Unity. So the first uh, would be like adding users manually. There are two things we can add users manually. First is adding an end user account and second would be ad adding an administrator account, which I already told it to you. Right. So in adding an end user account, that would be user with the voice mailbox. You just need to go to users, add new. You need to choose end user, uh, like an option user with voice mailbox, and then choose the template. Enter the required details and all good. Just click on save and your end user will be added in the particular Cisco Unity. Second one would be adding an administrator account. That would be a user without a voice mailbox. The same thing, you need to go to users, add new, select option users without voice mailbox from the drop down and choose the administrator template. So this is the main thing like here you are choosing voicemail user template and here you are going to choose administrator template. Same thing, you will uh, add the required details and save. Then the first thing which you need to add it here in the administrator account that is you need to go to roles and assign the particular role and then click save. Role depends what kind of access you want to give it to that particular user, right? And then you, you need to go back to the edit again, click the password settings, choose the password settings and save and you can choose the password as well for the user and click save. So this step you need to do it on this adding an end user with the, with the voice, voice mailbox account as well that you need to create a password for that particular end user and you need to give it to them. Or you can create a default password and you can just ask everyone to use this password first for the very first time whenever they are trying to log in on the voicemail account and then they can change it. And this should be the setting actually on our Cisco Unity what we can like create it in this password setting page. Like here in the, by going to the password settings, we can 
do these settings like whenever user log in for the first time it will prompt him to change the password right so this would be the first step that is how we can add the users manually so let's check it out uh, let's do it on our cisco unity connection like how we can add the users on the unity so this is my unity page and let me just log in on this one okay so the first step why uh, we were doing it like user with the voice mailbox you need to go to users and then here you will find another users under that tab here you just need to click these are already the users which are already in my uh, unity connection so we are going to create a new one right so let's create a new one you just need to click on add new first after clicking on add new it will ask the first thing is user type here you need to choose whether you are creating a user with a mailbox or without mailbox so first of all we are doing user with mailbox right and then based on template in the user with mailbox we need to choose voicemail user template it as of now it is just showing a default template which is already there in the cisco unity you can even create your templates as well so this is the by default which will show in the unity right so i'm gonna choose voicemail user template and now it is asking for a alias that would be a like a unique one where like if you were if you want to add someone's name you can just put it here like alias first name last name anything you can do it here so let me just uh, add alias as a test user this one with would be the alias and in the first name last name let me just add first name is test second name is user right and then we need to provide the extension here as well so i'm gonna provide 8888 extension to this particular test user right so now you will be able to see like this person would get added in cisco unity connection right now you can see it created user is already created now test user extension is double it double it and all other things are already there by default the thing which you added here was just the user with mailbox and the template so now this test user is already created now what you need to do you need to go to edit and change password for this particular user right so here you need to confirm the pin like i'm just entering one two three four five six this would be the uh, we can say uh, we will be uh, giving this as a default pin for all the users right and how we can uh, update the setting for this password again go back to the edit and then password settings here you can do the settings based on the requirement or based on your company's norms right so right here you can see it is showing it is already by default checked on user must change at next sign in that means whenever user will log in on the voicemail and enter the password that is one two three four five six which i just created it will prompt him to change the password at that particular point of time on the very first log right if i just uncheck it it will not ask to change the password it will like the that one two three four five six password will be forever there and if i click on does not expire it will not expire right and it uh, i can just click on this one as well if you want to uh choose this one user cannot change then user must change it next sign in will be uh grayed out like uh we don't want user to change the password then we can just choose this option right and if sometimes if we want to uh, lock it by the administrator you can just click on this one so most of the time we are just uh checking it on this one user must change it next sign in and click on save and sometimes user says my password is locked so what you need to do you need to go to users check it out and then you will be able to see it will be on the check mark is there on locked by administrator so you just need to unlock it or you can just click on unlock pin and then save so most of the time users entered a wrong password and that's why it shows locked by administrator right so now i just updated the password policies as well so now i created one user with a 
mailbox now let me show you how we can create a user without a mailbox right that is like an administrator let me just click on add new again after clicking on add new the same steps will be there like user type you need to choose here you need to choose user without mailbox and once you choose user without mailbox it will show a template as an administrator only that is also an uh, by default template for the administrator you want to create a new one then you can create it as well so now uh, alias would be like i am giving test user 2 or we can just add test user 2 here and click on here you can see uh, by using administrator template and user without mailbox it is not asking for an extension because this user is creating it without a mailbox let me just click on save so after clicking on save what we need to do on this user without mailbox that is the roles we need to provide the roles to this particular user which we are which we just created you need to go back to the same edit here you can see all these options are grayed out because this user is a user without mailbox so now you need to go to the roles and depending on the role you need to assign the particular things now you can see assigned role is now a system administrator only if you want to uh, assign this user as a greeting administrator you can just select on this one and move it upwards on the assigned role. these all are the uh, available roles by default on your uh, cisco unity connection if you want to give like uh, full rights and read only rights you can just choose this one like user administrator tenant administrator remote administrator read only access only so you can choose it from here like i just wanted to give help desk administrator i will just move it the forward uh, and greeting administrator downwards system administrator downwards it is asking are you sure you want to remove the system administrator role that would be only help desk administrator it is just asking if you want to remove it then just click okay if you don't want to remove it then click cancel so now this particular user has a system administrator role as well as help desk administrator system administrator that means he will be able to do particular things on this system right let me just click on save right and then next would be to create a password let me just click on change password and then it will ask to enter a pin let me just add one two three four five six i will show you uh, by logging on this unity connection with this test user too as well and in the password settings let me just check it out so it's not clicked on anyone like it will not ask for a change at next sign in let me just click on this one or doesn't expire this one it, it depends on your requirement actually let let this let's just not change anything this is for the web application actually so we don't want to change it as if you want to change it then you can it's not an um, it's not a mandatory thing actually it depends on you whether you want to change it or not right so now i just created two users one user is without a mailbox and another one user with a mailbox let me just sign out from this account and let me just log in with that particular user which i created for user without mailbox test user 2 was an uh, alias and the password would be 123456 let me just try to log in okay now you can see this test user is created and i have successfully logged in with this particular test user now you can see everything is showing up here but you you won't be able to change everything right it depends on the role which you gave it to this user so i hope uh, i hope you learned something from this one like how to add users manually uh, users without a mailbox or user with a mailbox right and in the next upcoming lecture or at next upcoming sessions i will show it to you how we can create how we can add the users uh, like how we can import the users via axl how we can import the users via ldap and all other things like on the with the uh, bad tool as well i will show it to you in the next upcoming lectures thank you